Hey guys, Moan Pobert here, and today I'm going to talk about the few key things you need to know before you make an offer on a business. So let's get to it. And yeah, remember, if you didn't subscribe yet, this is the time to subscribe. I promise you, you won't regret it. All the videos are about how to buy businesses, grow businesses. So yeah, and let me know in the comments below what you think. I love getting feedback from you guys. Keep, keep it going. Also, see in the description below, we opened the free Business Buying Mastermind. It's a Facebook group. Join, the, join in the description below. Okay, so for today's video. So you want to buy a business, you have a filter, you have a deal flow coming in, you have lots of prospects, you have your filter based on your criteria for a deal. And now you try to move forward on a one or maybe a few deals. And the question is what kind of things you need to know before you make an offer. And I think just one key, one key thing to keep in mind is that remember, yes, you're going to make an offer on the business, but you need to understand that no matter how much due diligence you're going to do, there is only so much you can know about the business. The business owner will know more about the business from you, uh, no matter what, uh, at least initially, of course, until you own the business, right? He owns the business probably for many years now. So no matter how much you'll do, especially before you sign the LOI and get into the like in-depth due diligence with your accountants and lawyers, there's only so much you can do before you make an offer. So you need to find the balance between doing your due diligence based on your filter and taking the time to really understand the business and to realize if it's even worth pursuing and the balance between that and just filter through deals fast so you won't waste too much time on one specific deal and then realize hey this deal isn't the, the business owner isn't even serious about selling or this is even isn't even the deal that I want to get myself into so you need to have a very specific list of criteria and filters to go through really really fast to realize if this is a business you want to make an offer on. Now I'm, I'm talking due diligence. Many times, like if you're working with a broker, DI and the information memorandum is probably not enough. Um, so I, I wouldn't just rely on that. I would go in depth into a few more things. And it's also understanding that it's not the time to really understand how to run the business. It's a more broad overview on understanding the business. So it's time to really find the balance here of understanding about the business just enough to make a quick decision, yes or no, about making an offer on the deal. And I think the best way to filter through deals at this stage is just to find, I guess, things or reasons to say no to that deal. So just find whatever reasons you can in order to say no to for going for that deal, right? The more you, the more options you have, to say no for the better you or faster you'll go through so this is the time to literally reject as many businesses as possible based on your filter now ideally at this stage if you're working on your own i wouldn't get accountants and lawyers involved at this stage uh, ideally just do it on your own if you want to minimize costs obviously if you have a team work with your team if you can bring in interns that's good as well uh, I think bringing uh, interns for, for everything in this space is just a, a great idea just because you're giving them a great opportunity to be involved in this space of buying businesses. So it's basically an investment banking uh, experience that they can get by working with you and you can give them a filter to go through and quickly scan and skim through deals. Obviously, they can help you with origination and all that and basically whatever you want. Uh, but ideally, this is not the stage to get accountants and lawyers involved. You, you don't want you get, uh, I guess, to just have too much fees that, that just makes no sense at this stage. So I think this is time to really fully answer questions and just have in mind like one or two or three things that will make it or break it with a deal. You need to have a few things in mind to say, hey, those are the things that I know. If they don't happen, there's no way I'm doing this deal. And everyone have their own criteria. Maybe for you, it's just a location or a sector. And obviously, this is the time. I'll, I'll, I'll go in depth right now in a few of the things we can, we can look into and a few examples. But obviously, you should have your own main things to focus on. So, for example, one main thing you want to ask is, is this business got recurring revenue or recurring customers? So yes, you can, I guess, understand broadly if this is there in the business, but this is time to really get in depth and really see the list, really see contracts and really understanding if this is something that's going on or not. And if this is part of your criteria, if in advance you say, hey, I'm only going to buy businesses with X amount of percentage of revenues from recurring clients, and or not obviously if you have a specific criteria this is the time to really dive into it and figure out with the owner um, if this is the actual case or another example is to think with yourself hey i know this is a great business because it's 
grow it's good business without the owner doing sales and marketing or at least that's what he told me he told me hey i'm not doing any sales and marketing and i'm still growing by word of mouth so this is the time to really dive in and, and do your research and understand hey are, are they really not doing any sales and marketing and if they don't what can i do? just literally think about it what can i potentially bring into this deal and what kind of low-hanging fruits low-hanging opportunities can I have here to grow the business really fast like one of the deals I had in the past is going into a business with huge email list and they never use that email list like never and I'm talking huge list of clients of paying clients that they never try to upsell or sell different services to and that alone like when you see such opportunity you know hey I can get into the business and immediately this is one of the first things I can do to grow uh, revenues and uh, in this case just grow profit a lot Another example you can dive into in this stage is just understanding, I guess, the concentration of clients. So maybe you asked initially if, if or you saw in the IM uh, how much percentage of revenues one specific client represent. But this is the time to really dive into and understand are there just one or two or three main clients that represent 80 or plus percent of the revenues or are there a huge list of clients and everyone just represents small percentage of the revenues. Another example of key things you need to understand right now is do you need some kind of license or maybe you need to be a doctor or a lawyer or anything like that to own the business? This is the time to figure it out because you don't want to get into a point where you close to, to doing a deal, to complete the deal, and then you understand, hey, actually, I got to be a, a doctor to own the business, right? So you need to understand, do you need some kind of certification in order to own that business? Whatever questions you have based on your filter, Put them first on your list and just ask them as soon as possible to just reject as many deals as you can. Filter quickly through those deals so you can move uh, towards the deals that you can actually close. Another key thing to understand at this stage is how crucial the owner is to, to the day-to-day -to -day of that business. And if he's going to leave very fast, who is going to run the business? Is it you? Is it maybe the number two in the business who can take over? Maybe it's the CFO who is in the business can take over that role. Is it even possible? Or it, maybe the business is too dependent on the owner and his relationship with clients and suppliers and things like that. This is the time to really investigate those things. And the best way to get those answers is to just talk directly to the owner. This is a time to really have like a one or two hour call with the owner and ask all your questions, really dive into those things and understand, hey, is this a business that I see myself owning? Is this a business that can be profitable if there are, even after I buy it? This is the time to ask all those questions so you won't have those or just won't do mistakes uh, moving forward. And one last thing, I think with those type of calls and questions, I wouldn't meet the, the owner in person yet if it's not a must. I think you want to be as productive as you can because if you you just and i guess save costs as well even if it's just traveling or, or driving somewhere i think at this stage you want to save as much time as you can so do those things on the phone or just do conference calls online ideally and just go through those questions as soon as possible i wouldn't meet owners unless i see a potential after this stage or at least when we close to make an offer and we understand that we're in the ballpark of what they're expecting to get uh, until that I wouldn't even meet the, the owner in person unless it's a, you feel like it's a must and you really want to do it and it's really close by. Otherwise, don't waste too much time on those meetings because one meeting with an owner can take you like half a day and that's a lot of time you can put in doing like three or four calls like those if you just do them on the phone. Um, yeah, so that's, that's it. Short video today. I hope you took some value from it. Um, I think it's really important for you to have those filters to go through before you're making an offer and to make sure that a business that you want to own, you know, you need to understand in your mind, hey, this is a business I, mean, I can see myself owning based on what I, I guess, filtered through initially with my criteria. And when it meets those criteria, then I can move forward making offers and hopefully closing that deal. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, comment below, um, hit the notification button if you didn't yet. And yeah, I'll see you soon.